285 pounds, tie walls of Virginia Tech. Connor Medbury of Wisconsin, two of the top three ranked guys in the country at the weight class. Connor Medbury in the red, Ty Walls in the blue. Medbury ranked third in the country, senior for the Badgers. Walls ranked number two behind Kyle Snyder, senior. Ty Walls wrestling at St. Ed's in Lakewood, Ohio. We talked about it at the start of the broadcast, Derek. Virginia Tech wrestled today. They had a couple of duels. They beat Edinburgh and VMI. But talking to Mike Zadick, who made the trip with Walls, he said, hey, it's his hometown. You don't get too many of these opportunities. You got to take advantage. It's the way the circumstances laid out. Medbury from Loveland, Colorado, three-time Colorado State champion. 125 and no, oh, those final three seasons. Three-time national qualifier for Barry Davis and the Badgers was fourth in 2015. Took an Olympic red shirt and was actually at the Olympics. Was the training partner for Cervell de Lognev. What an amazing opportunity for Medbury. Guessing how much he worked out there with Cervell's injury to his back you know he didn't work out too much but Medbury being around that environment just sucks you in it makes you want to achieve more this is the second meeting in folk style between Medbury and Walls Medbury beat Walls two to one at the Midlands back in 2014 Medbury says since then he's noticed Walls has gotten bigger I mean you look at these two guys I mean these guys are doing squats with Pickup trucks, <laughs> cinder block hips, and it's one thing to get to the legs on these guys, but I mean, you can you can see it. To get through and finish is a completely different ball game. There you see Trevor Branvold and Kyle Rochelle. Branvold, two-time Big Ten champion, associate head coach for the Badgers. Him and his wife, Allie, expecting their second child, the baby boy, any time. And got to know Trevor, phenomenal guy, as is Kyle. Here's Walls trying to get an angle, but again, you look at those hips. Medbury able to square up. Now going to snap him down and try to spin around himself. He has to beat that right arm. And Walls can't himself square as well. Inside of a minute, no score. I'm going to give you maybe the stat of the night. And this stat to me never gets old. Mentioned Walls wrestled at St. Ed's. St. Ed's has had a Division I All-American. 35 straight years, a run that began in 1982. That is crazy. Stat of the night. And it's scary that nobody's hired the head coach to be their head coach. I know you look at, speaking of head coaches coming from successful programs, Kevin Dresser for the Virginia Tech Hokies. He was a multiple-time state champion for Christiansburg High School uh, uh, coaching Christiansburg High School in Virginia, they, they hired him. I'll give you a couple other guys. Scott Goodale was a high school coach, as was Brian Smith down in Florida. Then he went up to Cornell, uh, spent, believe it was five years on Rob Cole's staff, went to Syracuse for a year, and then has since been at Missouri in nearly 20 years. But guys are great coaches. You see in the background, Mike Zadick. Mike's got the alligators on, and as Ric Flair would say, he's having a hard time holding those alligators down. I saw you ask him, are those alligators? Oh, they're alligators. Stevie Martin, another coach as well, high school to college. No score. Walls with choice. He'll defer. Medbury will go on bottom. And, and speaking of fashion, Ty Walls, great kid. My first time meeting him or doing the interview yesterday. And him and I became Facebook friends like a couple of weeks ago. So... I'm sitting down watching the World Series with my oldest son, Austin, and I'm like, Austin, look at this guy. Just a, just a monster, Ty Walls. But as he escapes, Medbury 1-0. Walls has some pretty good fashion sense. Looks good for a big guy. So we talked about that, and he said, yeah, my girlfriend, she buys the clothes you wear, and you'll look good. And then Zadik says, hey, Shane, you ever hear a Lululemon pants? <laughs> he said, Walls has some. And, and the lady next to us said, I didn't know Lululemon made men's pants. And Zadik burst out laughing. He says, see, Shane, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's what I told you. It was, it was funny. <laughs> Got to know Zadik a little bit, and he's another one. You know, when, it, when there's a scoreboard and he's competing, I mean, he goes to, to another planet. But you get to talk to these guys a little bit. 
really nice guy. And, of course, his brother Bill, now the head freestyle coach for the United States. And, and I think that was a great move by Kevin Dresser to bring Mike back into coaching at Virginia Tech. Halfway through the second period, just an escape by Medbury, the lone tally. There's a hard snap down for Medbury into the legs. And there's a takedown for the Badger. Medbury leads it 3-0. Beautiful double leg snap down double. Drove to the edge, got, knew exactly where he was. And in these matches at 285, three points is, is huge. I mean, the equivalent of maybe a 5 6 nothing lead if you're looking at, typically speaking, 133, 141, those lower weights, a little bit more action in those matches. While we're at a break here, just give a quick shout out to Tom Carr. New program in Central Christian College. The Tigers watching us, so they said we're doing a great job. We'll take it. Check is in the mail, no <laughs> doubt about it. Appreciate everybody joining us here tonight on trackwrestling.com. A real honor, a real thrill for us to be here having this event on trackwrestling.com. Chess lock for Metbury. And a stalemate whistled with 34 seconds. I've had to pinch myself a couple of times. Is it? I'm calling the NWCA All-Star Classic. It's a great event. I've been here three or four times and, and always enjoying myself. I was at the one at Arizona State a few years back at the Palestra in Philadelphia two years ago. I love this event. It just a, it's just a great event. Some phenomenal matchups to start the season. As I said before, you know, summer's come and gone. You got that, that crisp fall air. You, take, you go outside, take a deep breath. You can smell it. You can smell wrestling. I love it. Big Ooh. return there for Medbury. And with 20 seconds, he wants to finish this period on top. Big difference between 3-0 and 3-1, especially at heavyweight. Walls, good movements. But Walls has got to be careful because Medbury looking to score off of one of his attacks, has an ankle, going to reach across to that left ankle and sucks it in for a takedown at five seconds. Walls there just got, just got a little bit, he's got a little too aggressive there, a compromised position, and he paid the price. And have you noticed the, the I've noticed several times the wrestlers slipping and especially with heavyweights, you know how sweaty they get and the sweat on the mat. I just noticed the feet of Ty Walls. He went to get his grip and his foot just slipped out. Five seconds. Again, situation here. Want to stay on top. Keep it at five to one if you're Medbury, and he does just that. Five to one, Medbury up by four to the third. Medbury riding time at 36 seconds. He'll look to get to that minute mark. Walls, a two-time All-American, was fourth last year. Wrestled in this classic in Atlanta last year. Beat Michigan's Adam Kuhn 9-3. Kuhn, of course, redshirting this year for the Wolverines. While you're on that topic, I did notice that Dominic Abinader, Big Ten champion, Wrestled unattached at the Eastern Michigan Open today. And there you see this, the falling of Ty Walls, unable to get his footing. Five to two. Escape by Walls. Virginia Tech beating Edinburgh earlier today, 24 to 13. And then VMI, 39 to six. And Virginia Tech, one of those teams in the hunt. They believe that they can capture that team title in St. Louis. Recently picked up a, a couple months ago another a Super 32 champion, Jay Borst from Virginia, signing to Virginia Tech. So it's just they, they're re reloading. You have Mitch Moore, the, the Moore brothers from Ohio, they're signing as well. Walls has been able to get to a leg, but unable to finish, and now he's extended underneath. Trying to work up. Get his hips underneath him. And a restart, 43 seconds. Yeah, and, you, and you said it. You don't want to get caught under these big guys. And Ty Walls is shooting those low shots, and he's shooting straight on. He has to create an angle, get to a swing single. If he gets his hips to the outside, it's going to be a lot easier to finish on these bigger guys than it would be just shooting straight on.
20 seconds away is Connor Medbury. From victory here in Cleveland, spoiling the homecoming of Ty Walls, Cleveland native. Stall call on Medbury. The Badgers making it two for two tonight with wins from Isaac Jordan at 165. And now Connor Medbury at 285 pounds at Medbury over Walls, five to two. Our featured match is coming up next, a pair of national champions. They'll battle at 184.